I mean, it always feels good to get a series win. Of course, we wish we got three, but uh, you know, win, win's a win. And that last one was really big for us, so that felt very nice. What did Coach tell you guys in that huddle afterwards? Um, that we got a lot of work to do. You know, we won the game, but that doesn't mean we played our best baseball. I think we could, we're better than that. We could, we could have won that game by more than one run. I actually told Philly this week, I told him, I'm, I'm done giving up your runs, man. We have a thing, when I inherit his runs, they seem to always score. So I told him I'm done with that. I said, I'm, no more me giving up your runs. I won't, I won't do you like that anymore. So I was glad I could hold up my end of the deal this time. Be more watching him grow over the last couple years has just fires me up. I mean, no one deserves success more than that kid. He's one of the nicest people just all around good dude so seeing him succeed brings me so much happiness every time so but in general there's a lot of kids in new roles and I think it's early but you're seeing us grow into those roles and succeed in those roles can Brandon Morris grow more than 6'8 I, <laughs> I think I wasn't talking physically I was talking <laughs> mental growth there if he grew any more physically we got a problem you know he was just saying we barely scratched the surface with how good of a team we could be um, we've shown glimpses you know especially with our hitting our pitching shoved today but I agree with him. We've barely scratched the surface to show what kind of team we could be the rest of the season. Right, yeah, it feels good. I mean, we have a team that works hard. And because we know we're such a good hitting team, we know we're never out of the game, you know? Yeah, it felt good. Um, honestly, just be on time. I've been, you know, late on so many balls. So I was just like, don't be late on it. Just hit the heck out of it. He's such a baller. I, I've been trying to learn from him as much as I can. You know, he's a vet here and he's, he's, he's barely scratched the surface and he's just balling out right now. Oh my gosh, we have an amazing group. Um, the, the, this team is, is a good group of guys, um, you know, we're, we're a family, so um, we're going to have a good season. One, I was just really proud of them, you know, I mean, you got to be proud of your players when you lose a tough game in the first game and we didn't play very well. And then we go score, take the lead, give it right back to them, and we got to battle back, and they got good arms. I mean, it's a good program. I mean, they've been to the regionals, I think, four out of the last five years or something like that. I mean, um, they're good. You know, both teams we played so far are good teams, you know, and we scheduled good teams because we want to play against those guys before we get into the conference. So just proud to come back and get a, a big series win. I mean, that's huge. Yeah, I mean, our bullpen's good. You know, I think that, you know, if you look at it coming into this year, that would be the strength of our pitching staff. You know, I'm not saying our, our starters aren't, aren't good, but they're just unexperienced. You know, they don't have any experience being out there being starters. Um, you know, we lost all three, three the four starters and then the fourth one's really not ready yet to throw he's only thrown a little bit so we got four brand new guys out there that haven't started a lot of baseball games so you know our key is and when we knew that going into the season we need to get through those first five innings clean and keep ourselves in the games let our bats get going and then we turn over a bullpen it's been pretty good so uh, hopefully we can get those starters figured out um, you know get them throwing well and uh, you know our back end should be good